In this webinar, we will be looking at a workflow to bring BIM Revit files into City Engine. ArcGIS Pro 2.2 now supports Revit files created in Autodesk Revit 2015 through to 2018. In order to bring a Revit file into City Engine, we will need to first convert the file into a multi-patch through ArcGIS Pro. First, I will create a new project in ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to select Local Scene, where I will then name my scene to bring in my Revit file. In order to bring in my Revit file, I first need to make a folder connection in the catalog pane. I'm going to right click on folders and say add folder connection and locate the directory where my Revit file is located. If I expand the folder, you will be able to see my Revit file. And if I expand the Revit file, you will be able to see the sublayers in the Revit database. I'm going to drag and drop the Revit file into my scene. Depending on the size of your Revit file, it will take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to load into your scene. Next, I will zoom into my layer. We can see that the building appears, however, since it is missing a geographic location, it is not situated in the correct location on the map. If I expand the BIM data in my table of contents, we can see that ArcGIS Pro automatically adds symbology and organizes the BIM dataset into familiar Revit grouping structures. I now want to georeference my data. To do this, I will click on the Manage button and click GeoReference. I'm then going to click on the Locate button, and I will locate the correct area for my building. After finding the correct location, I will click Move to Display, and my Revit model will move into the view that I have in my scene. I can use the Move, Scale, and Rotate tools to correctly place my model within the scene. Finally, I will click Elevate to Ground to correctly position my data on the ground, and I will then save my changes to the data. We can see that our data is correctly placed if we right-click on the layer and say Zoom to Layer. We will see that the building is now sitting correctly in place. I am now ready to export my data into City Engine. To do this, I will right-click on the group that I want to bring into City Engine, in this case, Exterior Shell, and I will choose Data Export Features to export my data into a geodatabase as a multi-patch. I will create a geodatabase for my data. And save my features. We now have an export that is ready to go into City Engine. Now I will switch into City Engine, where I have a blank project that I've already created called BIM Demo that I will be importing my data into. I'm going to create a blank scene for my data. First, I will add map data to provide some base imagery and elevation context for the data that I will be bringing in.
Next, I will import my data by going to File, Import, File Geodatabase, and I will select the directory where my geodatabase is located. We can see that the data is being found and that it is readable by City Engine. I will click Finish to bring in my data. The multi-patch imports correctly, but the symbology does not come through. I have created a rule package to allow for the symbology to be reapplied or customized as required. To download the rule package, follow the link in this video description or head over to ArcGIS.com. After signing in with your Esri account, search for Revit to City Engine and download the file that's provided. Now, Go to File, Import, Files into Existing Project, Rule Package, and select the location of the rule package that you just downloaded. To see that the rule package imported correctly, double-click on the CGA file under the Rules folder to ensure that the CGA code is embedded in your scene. We can now select all of our shapes in our building and drag and drop the CGA file onto our building. We can see that the symbology has now been reapplied to our BIM data. The rule that has been provided also gives us the capabilities to override certain settings. I'm selecting the roof here, and I want to change the color by overriding it through the drop-down. By hovering over Color Override, we can see that we can add transparency to our color by adding a value of 00, 0 to 99 at the end of our hex code. In order to improve the visualization, I'm going to turn off the Shapes layer, and I'm also going to turn off the wireframe. We also have the ability to override the colors with the texture that we've added. I have preloaded my project with a roof texture that you can see here. I'm going to load the roof texture into the texture picker in my rule parameters. And enable the texture override. I'm going to flip my texture to change the orientation and scale it to the correct dimensions. I'm also going to add a transparency value. And I'll do a 90 degree rotation. We now have the ability to take our data and export it into a web scene or a scene service, or we can even bring it back into ArcGIS Pro for further manipulation and analysis. This concludes the BIM to City Engine tutorial. For more resources related to City Engine and Esri products, check out the Esri Canada Higher Education Resource Finder linked in this video description.